Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to solve one very interesting question from exponential equations. The given equation is 2 plus x raised to the power 3x equal to square root 5. We have to find out real solutions. So let's get it started by writing our equation as x power 3x equal to square root 5 minus 2. Now I will consider cube root both sides. So I will write power 1 by 3 and this side also power 1 by 3. Now I will write one exponential property a power b whole power c. It can be written as a power b times c. So our LHS will become x power 3x times 1 by 3 equal to a square root 5 minus 2 and then we can write power 1 by 3 or cube root. Now I can cancel these two 3's from numerator denominator. So x power x will be equal to cube root of the square root 5 minus 2. Let's solve this cube root first to solve this exponential equation. I will write x power x equal to cube root of I will multiply numerator and denominator by 8 then square root 5 minus 2. Now using property of radicals I can split numerator and denominator root 5 minus 2 divided by cube root 8. Now in next step I will multiply our numerator radicant cube root 8 root 5 minus 16 and denominator we can write cube root of it is 2 cube. Now cube root and power 3 will be over. So it is 2 basically cube root of 8 root 5 minus 16 divided by 2. Now I will be writing x power x. This will be equal to cube root of. Now I will split 8 root 5 as 5 root 5 plus 3 root 5. 16 as 1 plus 15. So minus is there. Minus 1 minus 15. And denominator will be 2. Now I can write cube root of 5 root 5. It is cube of root 5. Now minus 1. This minus 1 I can write minus 1 cube. Then next term 3 root 5. I can write plus 3 times square root 5 times 1 is square. Then this 15. I can write minus 3 times it is root 5 is square times 1. Now you can see and denominator is 2. Now you can see it is recalling one algebraic identity a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So it is a minus b whole cube formula. So we can write a square root 5 minus 1 whole cube and then cube root divided by 2. This was x power x. Now we can cancel cube root and cube. So our ultimate equation or simplified equation will be square root 5 minus 1 over 2. Let's solve this exponential equation using calculus and graph. If I will plot the graph of x power x, then it is like that. We can check this minimum point at certain point. And if I will check our RHS value, then it is 2.23 minus 1. 
divided by 2. Further, it is 1.23 divided by 2, which is 0 0.618. Means if I will draw RHS, it would be one straight line at y equal to 0 0.618. Now we have to only check this minimum point. If it is below 0.618, then there will be two intersections, two solutions. Let's solve this function first. Let us consider y equal to x bar x. Take ln both sides. So ln y equal to ln x bar x. Now I can take this x as a multiplier ln y equal to x ln x. Let's take derivative both sides with respect to x. So I will write 1 over y times y dash equal to now differentiation by parts ln x plus the derivative of ln x is 1 so 1 x by x is 1. So from here I can write y dash is equal to y times ln x plus 1. Let's put the value of y. So y dash I can write x power x in bracket 1 plus ln x. For critical points we have to put y dash equal to 0. So I will be writing x power x 1 plus ln x. This value will be equal to 0. So conclusion is 1 plus ln x must be 0. x power x cannot be. x power x can't be 0. So I will write here ln x equal to negative 1 x equal to e power minus 1 or x is equal to 1 over e. And if you will see this value, then it is 0 0.367. Now we have to cross examine minimum point. So second derivative test. Let's calculate y double dash. And y dash is this much x power x. Let me write here x power x 1 plus ln x y double dash. So I will be writing here x power x the derivative of 1 plus ln x plus 1 plus ln x the derivative of x power x. So I will write x power x dash so we can write y double dash equal to x power x and then this derivative. It would be 1 by x. Then we will write 1 plus ln x. And then the derivative of x power x, so which is the derivative of x power x basically. So I can write x power x 1 plus ln x. Ultimately, it is coming out x power x times 1 by x plus 1 plus ln x whole square x power x. This is our second derivative. So if I will check second derivative at x is equal to 1 by e, then you can see this value will be positive. So minimum or minima will occur. Minima will occur at x is equal to 1 by e. Let's calculate the function value. 1 by e. It would be 1 by e whole power 1 by e. So this value is coming out 0 0.6922 at 1 by e. So I will write in the coordinate form. Let me draw here. Our function RHS was 
0 0.618 and see this minimum point. So I will write then x comma y. So I will write 1 over e. 1 over e was comma 0 0.6922. Or I can write 0 0.367, comma 0 0.6922. Now you can see this minimum point is at 0 0.69, 6922. So because of 0 0.618 is less than 0 0.6922 there won't be any real solution. No real solutions will be there. So we can conclude by this and if we want to calculate complex solution, then we can calculate easily using lambda w function. So I can write x power x equal to root 5 minus 1 over 2. Take ln both sides. So x ln x we can write equal to ln root 5 minus 1 by 2 and then this x I can write e raised to the power ln x times ln x equal to ln root 5 minus 1 by 2. Now I will take lambda w function both sides. So we can write like this this side also. From here, we'll be having x value straight away 0 0.33 plus i times 0 0.291. And this is complex solution. There won't be any real solution as per graph. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you so much watching friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.